Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's actually Monday the 17th of July 2023 here in Bangkok. This is my game of Sudoku at bedtime. This is a weekly um, Sudoku puzzle here called the Impossible Puzzle, which comes out, Impossible Sudoku, which comes out on uh, a Sunday uh, in the LA Times. Um, which I'm likely to play on a Monday or any other day if I f uh, have enough time. Well, I've got the time today, so I'm going to play it now. Uh, I will be using pencil marks. I will not attempt to play the game without pencil marks. Uh, I have no idea how difficult it's going to be. I've played it a couple of times. It hasn't been particularly difficult, but certainly pencil marks are the preferred method for me and likely to be likely to be the way that I will solve the game game. Uh, I see Joe Manchin is uh, touting himself as, poss as possibly running for president. Uh, that seems to be because he might possibly b lose uh, his uh, seat um, after the Republicans have put up a, a, a formidable challenger, I believe, somebody who's well liked. Uh, will Democrats notice the difference if uh, Joe Manchin is not there. Well, I guess they're going to lose that seat to the Republicans. Uh, the The thing is that Manchin has often voted with the Republicans, but because he's classified as a Democrat, that's allowed them to maintain the Senate, um, especially with uh, Kirsten Sinema now as an independent. So uh, we'll see what happens with that. But it would be nice for the Democrats to have a proper good majority in the Senate uh, next time around. Right, I can see a couple of things already. So shall we get on and see if it's impossible or not? I can see sixes blocking across here. That's going to put a six there. Uh, I can see four blocking across here. That's going to put a four there. I can see one blocking up here like this is going to put the one there. That's why I saw while I was chatting to you. Did you notice the same? Uh, we also have one blocking uh, across here and across here and up there. It's going to put a one into that square there. And we have one across here and across here and up there too. So one is now finished. Right now what's the missing digits here? Three and nine. So we've got the nine blocking up here. Let's put the nine there. Let's finish this block off with a three. And then let's see, we've got threes blocking up like so. That's going to put a three into that square. <clears throat> and three and four, three and four like this. So we're going to have a pair of three and four into in, in those squares up there. That's three and four. This here is going to be two and seven. Don't know which is which. Uh, this is going to be 5 and 8. Don't know which is which. This is going to be 5 and 8 also. Now that's useful because we've got the 8 blocking there. So there's our 8. There's our 5. Um, <clears throat> 8 blocking down here and up here and across there means we can get an 8 in that square. 8 blocking to the bottom here down and across like so will give us an 8 there. 8 across here, across here and down there gives us an 8 there and now we have the 8 blocking up and across here that's going to put an 8 into this square. Now I can get this because I already worked out what that was although I've now forgotten. Oh I see 5 blocking across there. There we go. 5 appears in that square. Uh, missing digits over here are two and something. Two blocking up here. Here's the two. Missing number here is a seven. Well, that was a pretty 
fast opening, wasn't it? And but since it's supposed to be an impossible Sudoku, I should think we're going to get stuck in a moment. Nine's blocking down like that. It's going to give me the nine there. <coughs> uh, nine across here and across here and up here. That's so one, eight, and nine are done. Right, uh, I'm not going to spend a long time uh, looking at this game. I'm going to play with pencil marks as I suggested. So we've got twos down here. Uh, this is two and seven, right? And uh, this is three and four. Uh, twos. Let's see, anything else happening with the twos? Um, yeah, two blocks this square here, so this has to be a two in one of those squares there. Okay, let's see what else we need. three blocking across here and down here so we get a pair of threes in those squares uh, fours here Fives in those squares. Five somewhere down here. Oh, that's it. Uh, eight and nine are done. So, um, <clears throat> did that help me much? Uh, not a great deal. So I shall head on for the rest of the candidates then. I think uh, let's do this shoot here first and then we'll come across the bottom and then finish off the grid. Like so, I guess. Right, so what are we looking for? Three uh, blocks across here like this. So we can put threes, oops, in those squares. And down here, uh, three could go in any of those squares there. Uh, give us a four. What do we know about four? Um, don't see that I know anything about four. So we'll put those there. Ah, seven blocks down here, so we're going to get seven in those squares. <clears throat> uh, have I got everything here? I think I have threes, yeah, fours, fives. Um, sixes and sevens, right, okay. 
All right, so this shoot is done. Let's have a look. Is there anything here? Don't know. So let's go across the bottom here. Uh, what are we looking for? Five blocks down, like so. So five possible in those squares. Uh, six blocks across here. So we have six like this. And that's it. Uh, maybe we'll try this block here. Two blocks across like this. There's our two. Four blocks down like this. Six blocks down here. Seven uh, is in these three squares. Okay. All right, we've got a pair of four and six in this column. So this can't be four or six. Let's remove candidates four and six there. That will give us two seven. Now we've got a unique rectangle of two seven, two seven here. So this can't be two or seven. It must in fact be four. So let's put the four in and let's do uh, a bit of uh, candidate removal. Well, let's actually place a six here and a four there and a five in this square. And let's now do some Oh, this will be a five. And let's do some removals, right? Let's get rid of the five there, the fives here, and this five. Uh, four, we've got to get rid of this and this four. Um, two, that looks to be okay. <clears throat> I'm not sure what um, else I have to get rid of. Six. All right, let's just go through the digits again now. So oh, one is done. So two uh, looks okay. Now, do we know any more about twos? I'll finish off with the rest of the candidates, actually. Twos blocking down like so. Mm, so twos possible in these squares and here and there. Uh, we have a pair of threes there. Is that still okay? Yeah. Ah, wait a minute. I see two and seven. Uh, so that's a. Oh no, no, that's not a pair. Tell a lie. I got. Uh, excuse me. I was distracted there. Uh, three can appear in those squares there. Four blocks. Uh, this can't be a 4 now. Let's get rid of that 4. Uh, so 4 is available in those squares there. And up here, 4 can fit there. 5 blocks down here, 5 blocks across here. This is a 5. And that's going to put 5 into this square here. We've got 5 blocking up here, down here. And across from here so that will be a five and this can't be a five let's remove candidate five and let's put the five in there that's the last digit five okay six then six has to be in one of these two squares here which is going to mean six blocks up here six blocks across here six blocks down here so this must be a six this can't be a six now that would be a four a six must be in this square and the fours can go away we're left with three seven so this has got to be a four over here now um i don't know if i've done all of the candidates two three four and seven i guess i must have done so that is going to be our two then this will be three and that's seven uh, here's our 2, here's our 7, that's a 2, that's a 7, this is a 3, <coughs> we 
we're looking for two in this column uh, that means you're a six and you must be a four uh, gets rid of all of those fours there puts a four here there's a four there's a three well it hasn't turned out to be very impossible again has it but uh, three in the middle here seven two is here there's our two and a six finishes our game pretty straightforward with pencil marks anyway um, that's it see you around bye bye